This is a short example on an array and using Python lists. We're going to use Python 3. This is a two-dimensional array, so it has X and Y coordinates, if you will. And uh, there's different ways to access the two-dimensional array. You can access it uh, along the X and along the Y. And this is a 4x9 array. The X is ABC along here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like this, and Y is A, M, A, E, I, M, Q, U, Y, 2, 6, and so on and so on down the columns. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through here and we're going to print this 4x9 array, and we're just going to do it raw, if you will, and Python will do this for you. So this is the name of my array array 4x9, so here and here, and we're just going to print this array and it's just going to do exactly that. It's just going to spit it out without uh, going through it in any particular order. It's just going to print it this way. Not terribly useful, but uh, it will show us what we've got. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to print the x values where y equals 0. So that is pretty much we're just going to print column 0 and we're going to print the x values in column 0. Remember that Python is a language that when you do stuff uh, say from 1 to 10, it doesn't go from 1 to 10, it goes from 0 to 10. So this is why the number 0, it's, 0 is the name of the first column. Okay, so we're going to use a simple uh, for statement. So we're going to say 4x in range of 0 to 9 because there are 9 going this way. We're going to print this array uh, the x value is going to change and we're going to keep the y value at 0. So this x value will go from 0 to 9 and the y value in the array will stay 0. The next set of numbers is going to be the y values where x is 0, so kind of the flip of that. We're going to print the row uh, 0 y values. So this is where this is where x equals 0 now, and y is going to go from 0 to 4. That's because this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and which is 4 numbers. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to print left to right, top to bottom. So we're going to go left to right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, like that. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to print from top to bottom, left to right. We're going to start here. We're going to go top to bottom and then left to right. So we're going to print the columns. These are the different ways you can access this array or this matrix if you want to call it that. Okay, let's push the F5 button and see what we get for results. Boom. Done. Let's back up here. So the first thing we printed out was the array and that is just these groups that we saw like this. It printed out this group and this group and this group and it's got the brackets and everything. So it just printed out the array for us so we know what's in there. Then it printed out the x values where y is equal to 0. That is here. You can see A, E, I, M, Q, U, Y over here. Next, we can see the y values where x is 0. So that's A, B, C, D. And it'll only print the first one because this is where x is equal to 0, and this is x equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now we're going to print left to right, top to bottom. Left, right, top to bottom. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. And it goes through all the way. And then the last one. top to bottom, left to right, and that will be the columns. So we can see A, E, I, M, Q, U, Y, A, E, I, M, Q, U, Y, 2, 6, and then it starts up here, B, F, J, B, F, J, and so on and so on. So, 
Those are uh, arrays. This is a two-dimensional array in Python, and these are the different ways to access it. And these are the type of code loops that you need to access to walk through one of these arrays. Okay, well that was it. I hope you find it useful and interesting in your Python programming.